Just a moment, guys. We should be doing a mic check, and then we will be live on the Bleed Orange Network. Just a moment, and we'll be live on the Bleed Orange Network. Just a moment, guys. What is going on, Cuse Nation? Welcome back to yet another episode of Live Play-By-Play -play with your host, Landon Cook on the Bleed Orange Network. We are here in the Carrier Dome as the Syracuse Orange, who are 2-0 and on the season, go on to face the Ryder Broncos. Now, today we will not be expecting Buddy Beheim to play as he had COVID tracing who with someone on this team who had COVID-19. Now, Beheim did not play in the last game, and Kadari Richmond came up big for the Orange and was the player of the game. With 16 points and two re and 14 rebounds, or no, eight rebounds. Now we can expect Kadari Richmond to come up big again, hopefully, and Alan Griffin because Joseph Gerard the third has not been playing his best this season so far. Has not been playing his best this season so far. We'll be tipping off in just a moment as the Orange go on to face the Ryder Broncos, and try to go 3-0 and into this ACC play. Now, I will be giving away, just like every stream, I got my hands on a couple of these. Um, this right here is a John Wallace autographed, um, autographed uh, pamphlet. Um, I got my hands on a few of them, and I will be giving this away at the end of the stream. We are here in the Carrier Dome, and today we have the Orange against the Ryder Broncos here in the Carrier Dome. Now, for the starting lineup for the Orange, I would assume that Marik Dolajai, Quincy Garrier, Alan Griffin, Kadari Richmond, and Joseph Gerard III will be starting, and that is, in fact, the starting lineup for today, as Barama Sidibe is out. And Buddy Beheim cannot play today due to COVID-19 tracing. We are here in the starting lineup for the Ryder Broncos. is Christian Ings, Huli Henderson Jr., Dwight Murray Jr., Ahmad Greenland Johnson, and Trevi Bladen. That is the starting lineup for the Ryder Broncos. Here in the newly renovated Carrier Dome, we will be playing our third game in the Carrier Dome with the brand new second year court. Now we have Kevin Beggett, the ninth season as Ryder head coach, and um, has been has had a winning record in 2015 to 2018. So they have not been on their best. But Ryder certainly is a challenge, as because the Orange are without two of their best players tonight. Ready for the tip? Has Jim Beheim has his mask shield on tonight? Quincy Garrier out to take the tip, and we are ready for some Q's basketball. Jim Beheim with his 966th wins and looking for his 967th. Out to take the tip is Garrier. We have Kadari Richmond, Alan Griffin, Joseph Gerard, and Marek Dolzhai. We are ready to play some basketball. The tip is up. Winning the tip is Ryder. With the ball now going up the court. Now with it is Ar Arungo Johnson. In the paint. Loses the ball. And it will be a jump ball and the Orange will have it. The Orange had the ball. Just started the game. Now with it is Gerard moving his way up the court. Richmond with it. Richmond working his way in back to Gerard. Richmond for three. 
to start off the game well, and he does. It is a three for Kadari Richmond. Now with it is Murray Jr. Back to Henderson. Henderson in the middle of the court behind the paint. Now with it is Johnson. Back to Henderson. Henderson drives in. Backs out. And that is a lofter by Henderson. And it is good. It is three to two as the orange lead rider. Now with it, Richmond. Richmond into the middle of the paint is Gary and it has nowhere to go. Back out to Griffin. Griffin for three, and it is good. The Orange are two for two tonight from the three-point line early in the last minute and ten seconds. Now with it is Henderson. Henderson to who is that? Johnson. Johnson goes up. Now with it is Arungo Johnson, and he is denied for two. Gerard with it. Out to Griffin. Griffin for three yet again, and he drills it. Nine to two orange as they are hot from the line as of right now. Into the middle of the paint is Murray. Murray takes a 10-foot jumper. Griffin gets the rebound. Griffin works his way up. Gerard with it. Gerard looks to Griffin. Griffin looks to shoot. Back to Gerard in the middle behind the three-point line. All the way into Dolzhai. Risky pass. Gary looks to shoot a three. Drives in. Gary is no good. Out back to Dolzhai. Dolzhai for a very deep two, and it is good. The Orange are hot from shooting as of right now. It is 11-2 Orange. Early, early, early on. Now with it for the Broncos is Murray. Murray to Henderson. Henderson to Johnson. Johnson drives in. Stolen by Richmond. Up to Gerard. Gerard up the court. No good and denied, but fouled as he drove in. It is 11-2 Orange with 17 minutes and 6 seconds to go, and Gerard will be at the line for two as he just got a shooting foul. Comment down below. I'll be choosing a winner at the end of the stream for this autographed John Wallace poster. I'll be choosing a winner. I got my hands on a couple of them. Gerard for his first, first free throw is good. It is 12-3 Qs. Into the game for the Broncos is now Nahimi Benson. Gerard with it for his second free throw. It is up, and it is rolling back out of the rim. It is 12 to 2 Qs. Now with it is double zero Christian Ings. Ings with it. Back to Benson. Murray with it. Ings. Henderson, Ings, Murray, Murray looks to pass into the end, and they are tied up. Kadari, four seconds to shoot, has to get it off a of lofter, and it is good. There with it is Murray. Nope, Ings with it. Ings had that basket. It is 12 to 4. Richmond with it, looking what to do with it. Back out to Griffin. Griffin for another deep three, and he hits it yet again. It is 15 to 4, Qs, and Griffin is hot. That is his third three in four, less than four minutes. The Orange are four from four from the three point line so far. Now with it is Benson. Benson to Henderson. Out to Murray. Murray to Henderson. Henderson looks to shoot a three. It is no good, and Griffin gets the rebound. It is a foul on, no, it is a timeout taken by the Ryder Broncos as the Orange are already up, and they are hot as Griffin is 3-for-3 three three from the three-point line, and the Orange are 4-for-4. Four four. We will be back in the Carrier Dome right after this. All right, guys, looks like, looks like we just got into a commercial break, so I'll be... Now, I'll say this one last time. Make sure to comment if you guys would like this John Wallace pregame. 
game day program. Got my hands on more than one, so yeah. My favorite player on the Qs this year, it's tough. Because I was in the beginning of this year, I was gonna say Gerard, but Gerard has not been performing as well as I thought he would. My favorite freshman is by far Kadari Richmond so far, and he has been performing well. Um very well. The player of the game last game coming in buddy spot, but I'd say Buddy Beheim. Big, big buddy fan. I like Gary. He's pretty strong on the boards. Yes, the QS are shooting amazing so far. They've been playing very well from outside the arc. Something that we have been lacking so far this year. We're sh- right now. We're shooting like a Duke or a Virginia right now, and I am liking what I'm seeing. But it's still early. Still early. Do I think Woody Newton is any good? It's too early to tell. He only played five minutes, but, yeah, he seemed to play well in the last game. So, yeah, during the commercial breaks, just feed in all your questions, and I will answer them. And make sure to stay tuned and drop a like on the stream and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you guys would like a chance to win this John Wallace autographed game day program. He, yes, he did play in the NBA for the Knicks. We'll be back in the Carrier Dome right after this. We are back in the Carrier Dome, 15-4 to four Qs. As they lead the Ryder Broncos with 15 minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the half. Now let's talk about Kadari Richmond and Alan Griffin. They have been performing amazing so far in this game from beyond the arc. Richmond is one for one and Griffin is three for three as they are hot. They are hot right now, folks. We are back with Jim Beheim and his shield mask. The Orange are 31.1 from beyond the arc this season, and now tonight they are 100% for, for 4 for 4. As Gerard with it up to Richmond. Richmond working his way up the court. Gerard with it. Passes out to Richmond. Richmond looks for 3. Back to Gerard. Gerard for 3. No good, and that has been what Joseph Gerard III has been proving to us this season. Now with his Murray. Murray to Henderson. Henderson by beyond the arc. Back to Murray. Way back by the middle of the S. Out to Benson. Benson into the middle of the court, and they are going to call a foul on the orange. That's going to be on Marek Dolajai, and they cannot get – he cannot get in foul trouble tonight, or else the orange will have a serious issue with foul trouble because we are not very – we do not have much depth depth tonight because um, Barama City Bay's hurt and Buddy Beheim is out due to COVID tracing. Now with it is Henderson for the Broncos. Murray, back to Henderson. Murray to Henderson. Henderson for a deep two, and it is good. And they are they, – it is 15-6 to six now in the carrier dome. Gerard. To Richmond, Richmond, into the paint, out to Gerard. Just passing all over the place. 19 seconds to shoot. A deep three by Griffin, and that is by far the deepest three I have seen this season, and he is hot. He is th- he is four for four from the outside the three-point line tonight, and they are rolling. Now with it for the Broncos, that is Pope. Pope to Murray. Murray for a deep two. No good. Dolzhai with the rebound. Marek down the court. Into Richmond's hands. Richmond looks to drive. He does. Richmond goes up and asks for the foul, but they did not call it. Now with it for the Broncos is Powell. Powell with it. Out to Henderson. Henderson looks to shoot. Nope. Powell looks to shoot. Out to Henderson. Back to Powell. It is tipped by Richmond, and it will go behind and out of behind the half court and out of bounds. Ryder will have it. 
Seven seconds to shoot now for the Ryder Broncos. 13 minutes to go in the half. Out to Pope, and it is knocked out of bounds. Are they going to call a foul? Yes, they are. They're going to call a foul on... Not sure who they called that on. But they pass it in, and it is a travel, and the Orange will have the ball. The Orange with it now, as Beheim never looks happy on it, sitting on his bench. Richmond with it. Gerard for a deep three. Hits it. Gerard needs to come back and play well for this Orange team for them to have a great season. It is now 21 to 6 as the Orange are 6 for 7 beyond the arc so far in this game. Henderson to Pope. Pope for three. Powell for three. No. Offensive rebound. Henderson looks to shoot a deep two for Henderson. Henderson is no good. A jump ball, and that will go to Ryder. Ryder will have the basketball now with 13 minutes to go. Out to Henderson. Henderson behind the three-point arc. Back to Powell. Powell to Murray. Still behind, behind, behind the arc. Powell with it. Tries to drive in, but can't. Gives it in. Tries to get it inside, but can't. Dolajai gets it, and it will be a foul on... It, that will be a foul on the Ryder Broncos, and that will be Benson. Benson with a foul there. 12 minutes, 45 seconds to go here in the carry dome in the first half. That was on the Broncos, and Dolzhai will be the in, on the end line to pass it in. Passes it in to Gerard as he works his way up the court. Gerard, alley-oop for Garrier, and it works. That is an alley-oop dunk for Quincy Garrier, and the Orange are up 23-6. to six. Now with it is Benson. Benson now to Pope. Pope with it. Murray tries to drive in but can't. The Orange have it and it is Griffin with the ball. Griffin trying to find something to do. Griffin out to out to Kadari Richmond. Richmond looks to shoot. Out to Dolajai. Dolajai with a loft. No good. And that will be off the Bron- that will be off the orange, and the Broncos will have the ball. But not before a stoppage of play in the carrier dome. It is the orange leading the Broncos by many in the carrier dome. Alright, guys, yet yeah, another commercial break. I'll go over. If you guys want a um, John Wallace game day program, just put it in the comments below or DM my Instagram. So far, we have 28 DMs. Um, uh, I got my hands on a bunch of these the other day. Um, so, just one. Still in a commercial break. Still in a commercial break as the Orange lead by many. They are 6 for 7 from the three-point arc so far in this game. They have been shooting tremendously well as the Ryder Broncos can't seem to keep it going and keep up with the Orange's shooting. I'd expect it to slow down in the next few minutes.
We are back in the Carrier Dome as the Orange lead the Ryder Broncos. The court is two years old in this um, newly renovated dome. They got brand new uh, lights, brand new roof, brand new bleachers, brand new everything here as they are trying to make this COVID life um, good for the players, you know? Now with it is Powell. Powell driving inside out to... Out to Corey McLeathan, and it is rebounded by Gary. Gerard working his way up the court, down to Griffin. Griffin looks to shoot, drives in, back to Gerard. Gerard takes a pump fake to shoot to three, and it is good. Gerard is finally hot again. It is 26 to 6 orange. Driving up for the Ryder Broncos is Ings. Ings drives all the way in for two. It is Dolajai with it now to Gerard. Gerard into Dolajai in the paint. Dolajai looks to shoot and is fouled. Gerard into pass it. 10 minutes, 58 seconds to go. Gerard for three. Hits it again. He is three for three out of his last three. 29 to eight. And the Orange are rolling. Now with it is Pope. Pope to Powell. Into Bladen. Bladen for two. No good. Gerard up the court. Griffin tries to take a deep three and air balls it. He is getting a little too ahead of himself right now as he is a little too confident. That happens sometimes when you're five for five from the three-point line in this game. Jim Beheim doesn't like that decision. Now with it is the Broncos, and that is Murray. Murray to Benson. Back out to Henderson. Henderson for three. No good. Woody Newton, I believe, for the Orange got that one. Yes. Newton is in the game. Gary looks to shoot a three. Drives in. Gary up. And he is fouled as he was trying to shoot a two. Nine minutes, 53 seconds to go in this half. And Gary will be in the, at the one. John Bolajak subbing into the game. And he is replacing, you'll see in a moment, out to Newton. Newton handed Gerard. Gerard for a deep three, no good. We have been shooting now these ridiculous three-pointers. Pope into the big man for Ryder, and he tries a dunk for that was... Ariji or Amuno Johnson. And he will be at the line for two. The big man. That was Newton trying to stop the dunk there and let up a foul. Beheim talking to Griffin now as he made a poor decision, taking a deep, deep three on that last one. Aruno Johnson. First free throw is. Up and bounces off the backboard and good. Subbing into the game now is Pope. Ringo Johnson taking his second free throw now. It is up and it is good. It is 29 to 10 as the Orange are up by 19 here in the carrier. Now Gerard with it. Beyond the three-point arc. Trying to find something to do with it. Garrier. 
Hands it to Bolzak. Griffin with it now, trying to create space. Back to Gerard. Gerard doesn't know what to do. They're playing the orange tight. Ten seconds to shoot. Gerard still be on the three-point line, and he loses the ball, and it goes out of bounds. And it will be the Broncos' ball. Three fouls for the orange and four fouls for Ryder as of right now. Not into the bonus yet. Now with it is Henderson. Henderson to Ings. Ings to Murray. Murray for a three. Murray is good. It is 29-13 now as Jack passes it into Gerard. Ryder is hyped right now. A Jack to Gerard. Gerard looking for space. Griffin drives in. Griffin out to a Jack. A Jack all the way out to Gerard. Gerard for a deep three, and it is no good, but it will be a foul on it. appears to be John Bull Jack. His first. 8.38 to go left in the half. Now with it for the Broncos is Murray. Murray out. That is Benson. Benson to Henderson. Back to Benson. Now it's Ings. Ings to Henderson outside. Now it's Murray driving in. And he had stepped out of bounds, and it will be orange basketball. (sighs) Let me hear your questions. Um... Let me hear your questions in the next commercial break. I'll be sure to answer them. Gary A with it now, beyond the arc. Newton with it now, driving in. Newton up to Gary A, and that was lost. Over Gary A's hands, Dolajai is coming back in, subbing for Jacques. Quick breather for Dolajai. He is back. Beheim telling his team to relax after getting having a very hot start and have now been cold for the last few minutes. Now with it is Ings back. Ings with it. Bad pass out to Henderson. Murray with it now. Looks to pass inside to the big man. That is Johnson. Now Dolzai with a rebound out to Gerard. Gerard up for a deep two. Wraps around the rim and out. The look has not been good, and we are into a commercial break, and we will be right back to the Carrier Dome with seven minutes and a half to go, and the Orange are up 29-13 to against the Ryder Broncos here in the Carrier Dome. We'll be right back after this. Any questions, guys? In the next few commercial breaks, we will be doing uh, uh, a trivia question for you guys. Keep you guys going. We just enabled the life, um, the uh, live chat here on the streams, so. Once we, since we just hit 100 subscribers, we are now able to do a live chat. So, might as well use it, right? We are nearing halftime here in the Carrier Dome. We're back as the Orange lead the Ryder Broncos. Let's talk about Alan Griffin. He has been tremendous beyond the three-point line so far. Five for six. 
as he missed one, and that was just an air ball that he had had. Gerard has been heating up. He has 10 points. He is three for six and three for five from beyond the three point line. Double trouble. Joseph Gerard and Alan Griffin. As Gerard is sitting on the bench right now, Beheim doesn't seem to be too happy with him. Griffin is in the game and smiling. Now with it for the Broncos is Murray. Murray beyond the three-point line. Into the paint. Hands it to Johnson. Johnson works his way through, and it is a foul. No, a travel on Johnson for the Broncos. Now it will be orange basketball as Dolajai looks to pass it in. If it wasn't a travel, it appeared to be a charge anyways. Oh, they're calling it an official review. I'm not too sure they could do that. Maybe it's a new rule this year that they can do a, an official review on a travel or even a intentional foul. Maybe that's what they're looking at. 7.20 to go in the first half. Now with it is Kadari Richmond. Richmond to Richmond to Newton. Newton out to Richmond. Richmond tries to drive in but can't. Hands it to Garrier to do the dirty work. Garrier works his way in out to Griffin. Griffin for two. That was a beautiful handoff for the Orange. Passing has been an issue so far this season. One of their few problems. 31-13 orange here as the Broncos try to make a comeback. Now with it is Ng. Ng to Murray. Murray in the paint and scores for two. Now with it is Kadari, Richmond. Kadari trying to make something happen. Hands it to Newton. Newton for three. It is good. What are you, Newton? For the Orange, what do you know? The true freshman. 34-15. to 15. The Orange are hot from beyond the three-point line. Murray working his way in the paint and gets fouled. It is a blocking foul on Alan Griffin. Murray to pass it in. Finds a man. Henderson from the corner for three and hits it. A three for the Broncos. Now with his Richmond out to Newton. Newton to Dolzhai beyond the arc. Trying to make something happen is Griffin. Griffin for a deep two and it is good. Griffin is still hot and still got it. 36 to 18 Cuse. Murray to Ng. Ng to Henderson. Henderson to Murray. For a deep three is Henderson. And it is out on the Broncos. And we will have another stoppage of play, but the Orange will have the basketball. With five and a half minutes to go here in the carrier dome. Now with it is Kadari Richmond. Richmond trying to make something happen. Drives in. Richmond for a two in the paint and gets fouled while doing it. He will be having two shots at the line. 
Kadari Richmond, the player of the game last week, or in the last two days, actually, for the Cuse in the win against Niagara. The Orange won heavily against Niagara as Kadari Richmond went on to have 16 points. Richmond's first free throw was good. The true freshman for the Orange is Kadari Richmond out of Brooklyn Brewster Academy. 6'5", 200 pounds. Hometown is Brooklyn, New York. Richmond to take a second free throw now. It is up, and it is good. The Orange up 39-18. 38-18, sorry. Five minutes to go. Out to Murray. Murray trying to make something happen beyond the arc. Driving in is... uh, Henderson. Jesse Edwards in the game now for the Orange. That is in to Benson. Nope, that is not Benson. That is Johnson. Johnson is all over. Um, Johnson is all over. One second. Now with it is Johnson. Stolen by Richmond. Richmond going up the court. Richmond with a sick dunk. Four and a half minutes to go. The Orange have a 20-point lead now. Richmond has long arms. Just got the Orange two more points. Now with it is Henderson. Out to Murray. Still beyond the arc. Out to Benson. Benson looks to shoot. Doesn't. Thinks about it. Murray looks to shoot. Drives in. Murray for a deep two. No good, and Dolajai gets the rebound. Dolajai up the court. Out to Newton. Newton for a wide-open three, and it is good. The Horns still firing beyond the three-point arc as they are hot. 43-20 to as Ryder takes a timeout to calm down the Orange and their fiery selves. As the Orange lead the Ryder Broncos, 43-20. to with three minutes and 53 seconds to go in the half. Syracuse Orange on the Bleed Orange Network. On the Bleed Orange Network. We'll be right back. Sky Retro, I am your biggest fan. Can I have a shout-out? Sure, man. Everybody go subscribe to Sky Retro right now. Sure, he's a good guy. We're doing several giveaways. Um, We're also giving away this autographed poster by the Syracuse Orange soccer team. We'll be giving away this at halftime. So DM me or comment down below if you'd like this. Be picking a lucky winner at the end of this. Uh, sure. Yes, you can enter. If you have Instagram, make sure to you can DM me at Lando Cook or you can just comment down below. Yeah. Just comment down below which one you can get. 27 people have DM'd my Instagram so far. Still on a commercial break. Yeah, if you guys just want to enter, just tell me which one you guys want. All right, you just got to make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and you like the video and comment down below if you want it. So now we have 29 people entered. Two will come away lucky.
We are back in the Carrier Dome, and guys, once you comment, the comments turn off once. Um, uh, oh, and I'll answer one more question. Both of these are signed. One is signed by the whole entire soccer team, and one is signed by one basketball player. We are back in the Carrier Dome, as Murray has it for the Broncos. Murray drives in. Henderson for a deep two air ball as the Orange retain possession. Richmond down the court. Has a man, Newton, in the corner for three. Hits it again. New Woody Newton is four for three for three tonight. Now with it is Murray. Up the court. Stolen by the Orange, but has stepped out of bounds. It will be Ryder Ball. Deep three for Henderson. He even he has it down in his 46-23 as the Orange have possession. Now Gerard with it, working his way up the court. Now with it is Kadar Richmond driving in. Richmond looking for space, doesn't have any. Out to Braswell. Braswell for three. Air ball. Murray for the Broncos has it driving up the court. Out to Henderson. Henderson driving in. Out to Murray. Murray for a wide open three. Hits it again, and the here come the Ryder Broncos. 20-point game here as the Broncos are just starting to get hot and are having a run. Now with it is Richmond. Richmond to Gerard. Gerard for a three and gets – no, it does not get fouled, but it is a three for Joseph Gerard. Two minutes, four seconds to go in the half. Now with it for the Broncos is Henderson. Henderson to a- – to Powell, Powell hands it off to Henderson. Murray drives in. Murray has a floater and out of bounds it goes, and the Orange will have possession with a minute 44 to go in the half. Now we have Gerard with it to Richmond. Richmond to Newton. Newton drives in. Newton for pulls up for two. Has an air ball thrown at it. And Murray is all over it for the Broncos. Driving all the way down. That is out to Ing. Ing for three is good. And here come the Ryder Broncos. 49-29. Gerard into Edwards. Out of Edwards' hands. And it will be Ryder basketball yet again. All right, now with it is Murray. Murray drives in, tries tries to find space. Ing for three, and Ing is no good, and Jesse Edwards is all over the boards. Now with it is Gerard working his way up the court. Gerard looks to shoot, does it, hands it off to Braswell. Braswell for three and is no good. Newton with a rebound. Out to Edwards, through Edwards' hands, and now it is Murray in the Broncos' turn. Murray looks to shoot a three. Doesn't have it. Just out of the rim. The Orange need to calm down here as they're 0 for their last four shots. Richmond with it. That is exactly what they're doing as the Orange call a timeout. The Orange really had to slow down there because they are really rushing everything now. Although they're up 20, it has been a sloppy five minutes. With 27 seconds to go. This will be the Orange's last turn, and Ryder will have about four seconds to shoot, if not that. (laughs) 
again, if you guys want to win the poster, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the video, and comment down below. 27 seconds to go in the half. The Orange up by 20 with possession. And the Broncos may might have one more chance. Gerard in the game. Woody Newton has been playing surprisingly very, very well. And Alan Griffin has had himself an amazing half. 21 seconds, 20 seconds. Now with it is Richmond. Dribbling around the court. It is off of Ryder's foot and out. Richmond dribbles it into one of their feet, and it goes out of bounds. It will be Ryder ball with 13 seconds to go. That is not why Jim Beheim called a timeout there. 10 seconds to go. Ryder with the ball. Murray with it into Henderson. Henderson tries to make something happen. Out to Murray. Tipped by Gerard, and there will be three seconds as the Ryder has the ball. Great tip by Gerard there. Now they only have three seconds to get the ball off before half hits. Murray with it. Three, two, one. Has to get the ball off, and he does. No good. The Orange have a 20-point lead going into halftime, 49-29. You're 2-0 Syracuse Orange in the Carrier Dome, beating Ryder by 20. We will be back in the halftime report right after this as I announce the winner for the poster giveaway. If you don't win this one, don't worry. You have a chance to win this after the game ends. Got my hands on a few extra. We'll be right back after this. We'll be doing our halftime report now. As we know, the Orange football team had lost to Notre Dame. Oh, man. All right, guys, I'm going to fix this. Hold up one second. What is going on, Cuse Nation? Welcome to the Halftime Report on the Bleed Orange Network as the Orange lead the Ryder Broncos in the Carrier Dome by 20. Now, the Orange lead the Ryder Broncos 49-29 to 29 at halftime. We'll be now announcing our winner for the Syracuse soccer team autographed poster. This will be out of randomness. All right, here we go. The winner is Kata Engel. Thank you so much for doing this and 
you will be winning this. We will um, just DM me on my Instagram afterwards, and we will figure out a way to get this to you. Do not worry, though. There's still a giveaway at the end of the game for this. I got my hands on a few of them the last few days. So, yeah. You'll be doing giveaways every single live stream. Now let's go over the scores around the United States today. For basketball, all right, for basketball right now in the top 25, there is only one game. There is Houston against South Carolina, Houston 3-0, 10th in the country. This You can find this game on ESPN+. Plus. Um, I would not buy the ESPN Plus subscription, it's... I think it's eleven dollars a month. I wouldn't do it. Um, just tune into anyone else's channel if you guys wanted to watch that one. Uh, that is the only top twenty-five game going on as of right now. Now, top twenty-five. Now we will look at games in the ACC today. It is halftime right now, and it, Pittsburgh is now playing NYU. Pittsburgh one and one, NYU two and two, and. Pittsburgh has a heavy lead against NYU. Now, Notre Dame and NC State versus Connecticut were both canceled. North Carolina State and Connecticut was going to be a close game as they're both undefeated. The Orange 2-0, this is Ryder's first game this season. Now we will look at all conferences. As of right now, we're going to go over the closest games in the as of right now, Oklahoma State and Oakland. They, Oakland is 0-5, and Oklahoma State is undefeated. The score is tied 16-16 to with 10 minutes to go in the first half. And then we have a whole lot of canceled and postponed. Um, not many good games on as of right now. Yeah, nothing is going on right now in the NCAA basketball world. But why not take a look at NCAA football? The Orange went down 45-21 to 21 earlier today. Um, you know. NC State. Hold up one second, guys. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, Cle um, Clemson for life. Yes, NC State is now 8-3. and three. You, guys, you guys are facing Virginia Tech right now. So, if you guys lose and Miami wins tonight, you guys are not going to make the ACC championship. It's not every day that you see Clemson not making the ACC championship, and it's very possible tonight that if Clemson loses, that they will not be in the in the NC in the uh, ACC championship. And if they're not in the AC, ACC championship, they're not probably not going to make the playoffs. So. Clemson for life. Take a look at Clemson and Virginia Tech right now. They're punting the ball away. And stay tuned for the 8 o'clock game, Miami and Duke, because if you want your Clemson Tigers to make the playoffs, tonight is a huge night for your team. Huge night. As of those two games, Clemson and Virginia Tech, Clemson is has made a field goal right now as of, as of now. Eight minutes, 27 seconds to go in the first quarter. Kicking off to Virginia Tech right now. It is 38 degrees in the Virginia Tech Hokie Stadium. Yeah, that's that's really it. The Orange went 1-10 on the season today. That is it. 
Yeah, if you when you play Notre Dame in the ACC title, just think about it. You guys, I'm not defending Clemson. Because don't get me wrong, I'm not a huge fan of Clemson. You guys destroy us every year, but um, you guys lost to Notre Dame in the final seconds in double overtime because you didn't have your quarterback Trevor Lawrence. But now you have Lawrence. And you, I think you'll beat um, Notre Dame. They're not very I – mean, I think they're good, but I don't think they're very good, you know. You guys are going to – you guys. I think you guys are going to make the playoffs. You guys just got to win tonight. You really got to win tonight. Uh, or else it's not going to look good for you guys. Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll just see how it plays out. But I, I believe you guys will beat Notre Dame in the – ACC title. If if that is, if you beat Virginia Tech tonight, because they look good, and so does Miami. So keep a close lookout for that. We'll be back in the Carrier Dome in just a moment. Yeah, I think Trevor Lawrence is the best quarterback right now in in America for co- in the college football world. I think by far he's the best quarterback. But yeah, Trevor Lawrence and Ian Book will be a shootout, and I can't wait for that to watch that game. Let's go back to the game. Just about to hit an hour on the stream. Let We just got to 110 subscribers. Um, we will be doing, I'm officially announcing right now that we will be doing the 18 days of, um, of Bleed Orange. So if we get five subscribers a day for the next 18 days, we will officially hit 200 subscribers before Christmas. 20 days till Christmas it takes 18 more days. Maybe even 17, but if we get... If, it's pretty easy. Let's just get five subscribers a day. And by Christmas, that'll be my Christmas gift. We'll get 200 subscribers before the year ends. Let's do it. Hold on one second. I'm having diff- technical difficulties right now. Hmm? Um, let's try... Just a moment. I'm having trouble getting the game. Just a moment. All right, we're good. Oh, sorry, I missed your comment. Yeah. I don't know why you're so nervous about tonight. I mean, I would be if I was in this situation, uh, but unfortunately, the Orange went one and ten this season for football. But um, Miami's probably going to win tonight, so you're probably just going to have to win this game and clinch your AFC um, your ACC championship berth tonight. So yeah, I would be pretty nervous. But you guys are the best team in the ACC, at least I think. So the Orange played. Um, played the Irish tight t- today and if we could have kept it really close if we didn't let up all those turnovers 
We should be back in the Carrier Dome in just a moment. Just hit an hour on the stream. Probably another hour left to go. Every commercial break, I guess we can check in on the um, on the game, the uh, um, the Clemson uh, Virginia Tech game, and the Miami game. Start today. Actually, just started. At least Cole Pepper didn't spike the ball on fourth and goal this time. You know, better than. Last week, that was atrocious. We are back in the Carrier Dome for the start of the... of the second half as Jim Beheim and his orange are ready to rock and roll here as the orange are up by 20, 49 to 29. About 30 seconds, we will be ready to start the second half. After Christmas, I will have a great setup here. I'll have lights in the background, I'll have a mic, and I'll Better thing to hold this flag up other than tape. Um, Yeah, it's going to look good. Fresh faces for the Orange. We have Alan Griffin, Woody Newton, and Kadari Richmond. They all have contributed in this big lead for the Orange so far, and the Orange are looking to go 3-0 on the season so far. It is Jim Beheim in his starting five looking to go 3-0 tonight as Griffin and Richmond are ready to rock. Nice, man. I'll be, that's pretty cool. Maybe we can do a collab on Syracuse basketball plays. Um, Clemson. Now Gerard with it, into Dolzhai, all the way into Griffin, and that was easy, a little too easy for the Orange, and that is a two-pointer with an and-one try for Alan Griffin, already starting to shine with already just seven seconds into the second half. He is already starting to shine. Griffin, with a smile on his face, drills the and-one try, 52-29 Orange. Now with it is Murray. Murray trying to make something happen. Hands it to Ng. Ng to Henderson. Looking around. Still beyond the arc is Murray. Murray trying to drive in. Can't. Into Ng. Ng driving in. Ng for two. And no good. And Griffin with a rebound. Griffin trying to do something with it. Griffin for three. Doesn't hit it. Dolajai with a rebound out to Richmond. Richmond driving out to Dolajai. Dolajai to Gerard. Gerard going in and is fouled. Gerard is fouled and will be in the orange, will retain possession of the ball. Now with it is Gerard. Out to Richmond. Richmond for three. Doesn't hit it. Now with it is Ng for the Broncos. Out quickly to Powell. Powell for two and is good. 31 points now for Ryder. Richmond with it. Out to Garrier beyond the arc. Hands it to Griffin. Griffin with it, out to Garrier. Garrier for three, doesn't shoot it often, and that is why. 0 for 1 from beyond the arc today for Garrier. 
It is rejected by Dolajai. Richmond with it, working his way up the court to Gerard. Gerard for a quick two. Doesn't make it happen, but will, will be at the line for two. It has been a very eventful minute and a half to start the second half. <sighs> Gerard with his first free throw is good. Gerard has been a very good free throw shooter last year. This year, he has been spotty. Let's see what he can do. Gerard, second free throw is up and good. 54-31 Orange. Now with it is Ng as the point guard. Ng hands it off. Now with it is Ng all the way into the paint. That is Powell with two and an and one try. Here comes Ryder as they're showing some hope. For Ryder to win this game, they will definitely have to stop the orange def the orange offense from scoring points because they've already put up 54 points and are on track for over 100 tonight. 54-34, 20-point game. Now with it is Richmond. Richmond driving in. Passes out to Dolajai. Griffin with it beyond the arc. Driving in into Dolajai for a deep two. Off the rim and out. Now with it is Murray driving up the court. All the way to the corner. Has his man. Now back in. Murray driving in deep two. Off the rim. And, Do and uh, Gerard has it. But it will be a injury on the court, and that is Marek Dolashai. That is not good one bit for the Orange. The Orange depth has been very poor because Buddy Beheim is out, and Dolashai appears to be holding his rib. That's not good, but he is up and walking. That could have been an intentional foul. They're on Ryder Bladen, but they're not calling the foul, apparently. I saw a clear elbow to the rib, and Doja is feeling it right now. In the second half now. 20-point lead as Jim Beheim is wearing his mask shield tonight. Dolja on the baseline to pass it in. It was a foul on Ryder. Gerard with it. Has a man in Kadari Richmond still outside the three-point arc. Looking for a man. Another foul on... Ryder, another foul on Ryder. We will be right back. Gerard looks to shoot. No, I do not know where that was to. But now with it is Powell. Powell to Murray. Murray to Powell. Powell for a deep three. Takes it and airballs it. I guess barely off the rim, but Dolja is now driving up the court. Now is it now with it is Richmond. Richmond driving in. Out. To nowhere is Griffin. Griffin passes it out of bounds. And Jim Beheim is not happy. Mistake by the transfer from Illinois. Now with it is Powell. Powell for Ryder. Lobs it up. First man. And that will be a push off. On the orange. Yes, it will be. Now with it is Murray driving in and no good for two. Gerard with it driving up the court beyond the arc. A pick by Gary. I can't seem to get it going. 
Now with it has a stolen by Powell. Powell driving in for the Broncos. Murray with it. Beyond the arc still. Lobs it up for nobody. That seems to be the story of this game. Lobbing up for no lobbing it up for nobody to the other team. Now with it is Richmond working his way up the court. Gerard now. Griffin. Back to Richmond. Still beyond the arc. Gerard with it. Deep, deep three for Gerard. No good and off the back of the rim. 15.55 to go in the game. Now to Ing. Ing for three. No good in Richmond with a rebound. What's new? Gerard with it. Over to Richmond. Richmond looks to shoot. Doesn't. Drives in a wide open path. Up to shoot. Doesn't shoot. Does shoot. Off the rim. Out to the corner. Gerard. Gerard for a three. No good. And now Ryder has it. Ryder working its way up the court. Two on one. And it is a foul on Marek Dolezal. Not good for the Orange. And that will be a commercial break. We will look at... The scores around the world right now. Right now, Clemson is down 7-3. to three, And it is second down and 10 on the Virginia Tech 49. And Clemson is driving. Alabama and LSU is on right now. But Clemson has the ball and is now third and one. Good news, no score yet for Duke and Miami. No score yet, but it would be a tough task for Duke to beat Miami because Miami's 10th in the nation and Duke is two and seven. That's all we got to say there. One of which is against the Orange. Let's get the 10 likes on the stream before the game ends. Awesome, man. Thanks. We are back in the Carrier Dome as the Orange lead 54-34. to The Orange still up by 20, but Ryder is still hanging in there. Ryder has lost 87% of their scoring from last year, and they're really hurting right now as they are struggling to find ways to score. First free throw for Murray is good, 35-54. Second free throw is no good, and Garrier has the rebound. 15-20 to go in the game. Gerard working his way up the court. Has his man, Dolajai, working his way inside the paint, and he tripped. A turnover by the Orange. Now with it is Henderson. Henderson for a short two. No good. Fighting for it is the orange, and Griffin ends up with it. Griffin all the way down the court to Dolzhai, and Dolzhai has it. That was about a 30-yard pass there for the orange. Griffin to Dolzhai, dynamic duo there. 
Murray with it outside the arc. Now Ng. Ng has it now to Powell. Powell trying to find something to do it. Now it ends up in Ng's hands. Now with it is Henderson. Nine seconds to shoot. Ng with it. Ng to Henderson. Henderson to Murray. Murray for three. In and out there. As the Orange are rolling, but has a quick turnover right into Murray's hands. Now with it is Johnson for Riders blocked with a wide open dunk, but Gerard came in hot there. It seems to be a foul on the Orange. Nope, a foul on Ryder. 14 10 to go in the game. 56 35 Orange. The Orange will have possession of the basketball. And Gerard walking up the court right now. 14 minutes to go. Double try to Gerard. Gerard looks to shoot. Thinks smart. Drives in. A foul on Ryder. The Orange will have it. Not in the bonus yet. Five fouls for Ryder so far. Now with it is Richmond, now to Griffin. Dolzhai, now to Gerard outside the arc, driving in. Gerard loses it, and that has been an issue for him this year. Up to Ng. Ng driving in on Dolzhai, mismatch, air ball. Rebound for Richmond. Richmond driving up the court, has it, but they will be calling... A follow on Ryder and the Orange are now in the bonus. They will having be having a one and one opportunity here from the line. We'll be right back in the Carrier Dome right after this commercial break. Any questions down below, um, let me know any thoughts or things. Ew, and Clemson scored a touchdown, 10-7. Virginia Tech now with it on their own 29, second down and six. 12 seconds to go. I think they're probably going to let the... Yep, they're going to let the run, clock run out now. Yep. End of the first quarter, Clemson up 10 to 7. Still no score in the Miami Duke game. We'll be right back right after this. We will be right back in the Carrier Dome right after this commercial break. Drop a like on the stream for the Orange to win. Again, the Orange are up by 20 right now. Joseph Gerard has an awakening. He finally woke up and is starting to show improvements. Slowly but surely, Gerard will be back to his normal self in a few games. Hopefully not too late, though, because the Orange have Boston College in after Rutgers next game. Hopefully the Orange will have Buddy Beheim back. We are back in the Carrier Dome.
We are back here. As the Orange are up by 20, leading the Ryder Broncos. Kadari Richmond will be at the line for two. Pardon me, the Orange are up by 21 now. Richmond's first free throw is up, and no good. It was a one and one try, and Ryder will have possession. Down to Murray. Murray drives in in a curry. Henderson for three. No good, and off the Orange. That was off Quincy Garrier there. Syracuse will not have possession. Ryder will retain it. I tell you guys, this flag. I'm telling you, I'm gonna fix it next commercial break. Murray drives in. Murray for a deep two, no good. It is Griffin now with it. Joseph Gerard taking his time. Now with it is Richmond. Dumps it off to Griffin to Dolishai. Still beyond the arc. Haven't gotten in yet. Gerard for a deep three. Hits it. And that is Joseph Gerard for you right there. Hold on. Are they not counting it? It appears to be a foul on Dolajai. Yep, it will be a foul on Dolajai. Now with it is Henderson. Henderson dumps it off to Powell. In to Blodden. Dumps it off to Gerard. Gerard in transition. Griffin almost with the alley-oop try. Hands it off to Garrier, and the Orange will get two out of it. Powell with it now for the Broncos. Powell dumps it off to Ng. Powell still does nothing with it. They have not created any space. Ng with it. Dumps it off into Murray. Murray to the outside is Powell. Powell for three. Doesn't have it. And it will be a foul on the Broncos. A one-and-one one opportunity now for the Orange. I'm just going to fix this flag real quickly. Hang in there. Hang in there, guys. One second. One and one now for Griffin. Griffin's first one is good. Good. Now with it is the Broncos. I'll inform you guys in just a minute on what's happening. Just a moment, guys. All right, we're good. We are into a commercial break now. Nothing happened there because Griffin unfortunately missed them both. Sorry about that, guys. This flag is killing me. I'm also going to have some clippers by the end of Christmas for those. Hang in there, guys. Game's almost over. We're in for a pleasant finish, it seems to be.
Just a moment, guys. You'll be right back into the dome. Now, the Ryder Broncos last season did not finish too bad. Almost first in their conference. About to hit the hour and a half mark on the stream. This game will end. It looks to be pleasant for the Orange as they are up 25 in the dough. With 11.45 left to go in the game. And after this one, the Orange got Rutgers, then ACC play. In the next commercial break, we'll be going over the Orange upcoming schedule and what it will look like. I'll be posting a post game to this game as well as a post game to the Orange football team. And a new edition will be coming Soon for the Buffalo Bills because Syracuse football is officially over. They have ended 1-10 on the season. Not a great finish. Their record did not show how their team played and how hard we tried. But unfortunately, we came out with a 1-10 record because of the choices we have made. We could have won the NC State game, but Culpepper decided to spike it on fourth and goal. And many more. Now to pass it is the Broncos. Down. And with it now is Pope. Pope to Eng. Back to Powell. To Benson. A shot clock violation for the Ryder Broncos, and the Orange will retain possession. 60 to 35, the Orange lead it, and the Orange will have the basketball. Gerard with it now. Out to Dolzhai beyond the three point mark. Now with it is Griffin driving. Pump fake. A medium two, and it is no good. 11 minutes to go as Richmond is hustling back. Driving all the way in, there is Ng, and he is followed by Richmond. That was a careless act by Kadari Richmond there. He was hustling back and did not have his man, so he just followed him. Ryder is still not in the bonus yet. Next follow, they will be. Now with it is Powell. Out to Pope. Now with it is Johnson. Ing for a two, no good. Gary A with it. Gerard to Griffin. Griffin drives in, out to Gerard. Gerard for a wide open three, hits it. Gerard is officially hot again. 63 to 35, the Orange lead it, nearing 30 point lead. 28 right now. Gerard is finally scoring again. Now with it is Powell. Powell for three. It is blocked. Denied. And that was Richmond. Now with it is the Broncos. To shoot there was Bladen. Bladen was fouled there. And they are now not in the bonus yet. Still, one more foul. Sorry about that. One more foul and they will be in the bonus. <sighs> Brett Dolajai, three fouls now. Dolajai and Richmond are out of the game, so into the game now will be Woody Newton. Gerard's still in. Coming out of the game now is Bladen for the Broncos. Incoming now is Elijah Perry. Perry with a rebound for the Broncos. Looks to shoot. Perry goes up. Perry is no good. And a travel is called. Gary A to pass it in. Into the game also now for the Orange is a new player, Frank Asleem. Asleem, a center from a freshman out of high school from Lagos Pacific Prep. Now with it is Griffin. Griffin tries to create space. Gary A with it. A travel is called on Gary now. Beheim not happy with him. Just hit the hour and a half mark on the street. 
This game is almost over. Now with it is Asleem. Asleem hands it off to Griffin. Griffin to Garrier in the paint. Garrier muscles his way through and gets fouled there, and he will be at the line for two. This is an opportunity for the Orange to now go up by 30 to potentially just close out this game. The Orange, after this game, could be undefeated. And nope, they're calling a... Nope, they're not calling a goaltending. Gary at the line. First one is up and good. And that is his only one. Actually, no, yes, that was a goaltending. It counted, and he got a free throw shot. 66 to 35. 31 point lead for the Orange. Now with it is Murray. Murray looked to shoot out to Henderson. Henderson to Benson. Benson air ball. Gerard with it. Griffin in the corner. Slows it down now is Gerard. Hands it off to Garrier with 20 seconds to shoot. Drives in. Garrier has one man to beat and can't do it. A rebound there by Henderson. Out to Murray. Murray in the flesh and a jelly two there by Murray. A great finish there and with a reverse layup. Now with it is Gerard. As Lehman in the game still. A freshman. Garrier driving it. Garrier gets fouled again. 29 point lead for the Orange now. Eight thirty four to go in this game. Garrier's first free throw shot. Struggled from the line last year. Let's see how he does. First is up and in and out. Tough shot there for Garrier. Second shot now to make it a 30-point lead. It is up and good. 67 to 37 now. As the Orange lead the Ryder Broncos in the Carrier Dome with eight and a half minutes to go. Now with it is Powell. To Henderson. Powell. Sue Benson. Henderson. To Pope. Pope drives in. Back to Murray. Murray drives in. All the way out to East. And that is off the back of the rim. And the Orange have possession with eight minutes to go. Gerard, quick, deep three. Doesn't have it. Gary A almost got the rebound slow to get up as Gary A hit the Hit the floor hard there. Murray driving in. Out to Powell. Powell for three. Hits it. 40 to 67 now as Ryder is trying to work its way back into this game. But the Orange just keeps shutting it out with its offense. Seven thirty to go. Griffin with it. Driving up. Easy, easy finish for the Orange there. That is Griffin. Yet again, he will definitely be the player of the game in this one. Murray with it out to Powell. Powell tries to get in into the paints, but can't. Murray trying to find space. Doesn't have much time, and that is Powell rejected at the line by Woody Newton. Gerard, wide open three and hits it again. Three for Joseph Gerard the third. Six minutes, 45 seconds to go in the game. 72 to 40 Orange. Now with it is Murray. Murray dumps it off to um, Henderson. Murray still with it, working his way in. Deep two for Murray. No good. Newton with the rebound. Woody Newton, another key player in this game, who has been playing very well. Garrier, wide open three and hits it. The Orange are just going at 
the Ryder Broncos right now. 75 to 40 right now, and this is a field day for the Orange basketball team. John Bojack about to sub in, not yet though. As Ryder is just fighting for hope as Powell is there, struggling to find space. Henderson with it, has nowhere to go, hands it off. Right there is Powell. Has to get a wild shot off there as Henderson with one second on the shot clock, and that is an air ball. Gerard with it now. He has been hot. Gerard looks to shoot, doesn't though. Gary has it. Out to... Who was that there for the orange? Frank Asleem was there. And that is a stoppage of play, a time out from the Ryder Broncos to stop this hot, hot, hot Syracuse basketball team right now. As the Orange will be going 3-0 in 5 minutes and 28 seconds. The score is 48-78. to You'll check back at... The score still ten to seven in the Virginia Tech Clemson game. Alabama leads LSU right now. Miami's leading Duke. Yeah. This game is nearing an end, and the Orange up by 30-plus right now. Make sure to drop a like on the stream. Let's get to 10 likes before it ends. You just hit 100 subscribers yesterday. Just hit 100 subscribers yesterday, so or two days ago, so... Make sure to subscribe to this channel. We are at 110 right now. Five subscribers a day for 18 days, and we will hit 200, the big 200. We are back in the Carrier Dome as the Orange lead the Ryder Broncos by 35. The score, no, I, was, I was wrong there, 75 to 40. The Orange up by 35 here in the second half with five and a half minutes to go. Upcoming schedule for the Broncos. We have St. John's, Manhattan, Manhattan, Iona, and Iona. Uh, they're in the MAC Conference. Nope, the Metro Atlantic standings. Yep, they're in the Metro Atlantic Conference. Now at the line for the Orange is Frank Eslin taking his first free throws as an Orangeman. 76-40. to 40. First free throw was up and good. Upcoming schedule for the Orange, we have Rutgers, then Boston College, and then so forth with ACC play. Second one was up and good. It is 77 to 40 now. Pope with it. Dumps it off. Now with it. McGlow. Murray with it. Dumps it off to Powell. Powell to Murray. Still in... Now driving it is Murray Murray up for a heave. It is no good, but they are. He is.
fouled. So Murray will be at the line for two now. Murray with it, takes his free throw shot, and it is good. First one was up. Five minutes to go here in the carrier dome. Second one is up and good. Orange lead it by 35. Now with it is Kadari Richmond. Dumps it off to Woody Newton. Behind the arc. Back to Rich. No, that is Braswell with it now. Now it is in Richmond's hands. Dumps it off to Newton to Bolajac. Frank Asley with a dunk. And an and one opportunity for Frank Aslim, the freshman out of Lagos Pacific Prep. A great play. Bull out of in trouble. Dumps it off to Aslim for a dunk. An and one try for Aslim. He could be good in the future. That was a very, very good play by Aslim. 4.42 to go. And one try for Frank Aslim. It is up. And it is no good. 79-42 with 37-point game now. A Jacques Bol- Jean Bolajac is in the game now. Getting fouled and annihilated. That is a foul on Robert Braswell there. Getting fouled is uh, McGlone. McGlone got lit up, and he will be at the line as Ryder is now in the bonus, and we'll have a one and one try. McGlow's first free throw is up, and it is in. Bounced in and out like four times there. Second free throw is up and no good. Richmond with a rebound, working his way up the court. Richmond trying to go all the way, can't. Bolajak with a good screen. Richmond all the way in. Richmond lobs it up to Aslim. Aslim goes up and is fouled and will be at the line for two. This is Frank Aslim has been involved in this game a ton, and the true freshman is really proving himself today that he can play in City Bay, City Bay spot, playing over Jesse Edwards and such. Free throw is good. 80 to 43. The Orange are nearing a 40 point lead. The Orange are really just taking this game right now into their own hands. Frank Aslim's second one is up and good. 81 to 43, the Orange lead Ryder. Now with it for Ryder is Ings. Ings to Murray, back to Ings. Now with it is Powell. Powell to Ings. Ings dumps it off to Murray. Murray driving in. Murray hands it off to his big man, and it is... No good, and that is a foul that may be on Frank Aslin. Yes, it is, with 3 minutes 56 seconds to go in this game. few more minutes, guys. We're in for a good ending. The Orange will be going 3-0, and going on to play Rutgers, who may or may not be ranked. Are they still ranked? I'll be checking right now if Rutgers basketball is ranked. Last I checked, they were 24, and they are. The Orange will be playing Rutgers Tuesday night at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time on ESPN2. 
I will not be doing this game. Just comment down below. What do you think I should do for that game? Do you think I should yeah. do a live stream? I'm not too sure other people are up at 930 ready to watch a live stream, you know? Uh, I would do it, but I don't think that would be the best because it would end at 1130, maybe midnight. So I think that's going to be a pass, but I will definitely be back for the Boston College game. I have my roster right here for them. And I am ready to rock with this Boston College team. And I'm excited for ACC basketball play because it's really going to be exciting to finally watch some real basketball again and some competition. Not saying the Ryder isn't competition. The Orange are playing fantastic tonight. But it'll be exciting to finally see teams within the ACC playing each other within basketball because – the last time the ACC teams met was in the ACC champion uh, was in the ACC tournament for basketball last season, and it got canceled. The Orange were in the middle of their season trying to fight for March Madness, a March Madness slot, but they couldn't because if they beat Louisville last season, they would have very well made the March Madness. But then all the COVID stuff happened and didn't know how to handle it, so they just canceled the whole March Madness. So March Madness essentially hasn't happened in a few years. So. Really excited to finally watch some competitive basketball again. 81-43, to 43, the Orange lead it, and we are back in the Carrier Dome with three minutes and 51 seconds to go. Now at the line is McGlone. McGlone for the for Ryder is up and the first free throw was good. McGlone's second free throw now. Now Ryder is in the double bonus and so is Syracuse. So any foul from here on out is two free throws. McGlone's second free throw is no good. Back to McGlone. McGlone takes it outside and Ryder will have another chance to possess. Murray going in back to McGlone. Out to Ings. And now he's fouled, and Ryder will now be at the line for another two. Ings will be at the line now. Yes, he will. Just past hour 45 mark on the stream. Really, really appreciate every single one of you. Let's hit 10 likes on the video and get to 115, if it's possible, subscribers by the end of the stream. First free throw is up and good. Ryder chipping away, but it may be a little too late for them, and I believe it is. 36-point difference now. It's a little out of reach for Ryder. Now, his Ings' second free throw. It is up, and it is good. 81-46, the Orange lead it with 3 minutes and 40 seconds to go in this game. Now has it. Now who has it is Woody Newton. Newton to Newton to. Braswell, Braswell out to Richmond. Richmond drives in. Into the paint. John Bolajak, a deep two, and it is good. John Bolajak, the junior, has it, and it is stolen by the Orange, but right back to Ryder. Braswell had taken it there for a moment, but had saved it. Now with it is the Orange. Now with it is Ryder. Ings has it beyond the three-point line. To Murray. Murray has nothing to do. Ings does. Drives in. Nope. Back to Powell for three. No good in the orange habit. That is Frank Asleen, the freshman, who had the rebound there. It is Richmond going up the court now. Down to Woody Newton. Newton, has, who has had a great game, has it. Now it is Braswell pursuing the ball. Braswell out to Richmond. Asleem with a screen. Down to Newton. Nothing to do. Six seconds to shoot. Back to nobody. And Ryder will have it as Murray is going up the court. And it is a good for two from Murray. Bra nope. Richmond taking it up the court now. The Orange got to just hang in there for two and a, two, almost two minutes. Wide open three for Braswell. No good. Great rebound by by um Asleem. Three for from Richmond. No good. 
Murray's driving yet again. Murray from three. Murray is no good in a rebound by Woody Newton. Newton and Richmond work pursuing the ball, working the ball up the court. 20 seconds to shoot, and the time is running out. The Orange could will get a win in just a moment. Richmond taking his time. Out to Newton. Newton for three. No good. The Orange are stone cold now from shooting. It's okay, though, because the Orange are officially probably going to take this game in just a moment. A minute 30 to go in this game as Frank Asleem came in big because we were lacking Brahma Sidibe and many others in this game. Buddy Bayheim. we don't like to play Jesse Edwards that much. So Frank Asleem came up big. John Bolajak did too for sure. They list him as a center, but Frank Asleem can also be a um, power forward as the first free throw there is no good for Amari Arugo Johnson. A minute 32 to go. Make sure to stay tuned for the Orange to win this one. Arugo Johnson for his second free throw is up and good. 49 to 83, the Orange lead. A minute 30 to go, and the Orange will be taking their time as John Bullajack sets the screen. Richmond is a little crazy with the ball driving in, now going out. Out to Ajak. Ajak to Richmond. Richmond into Braswell, driving in. Braswell for two is up and good. A minute 10 to go. Working fast. Working fast now is Ryder. Deep three is up and no good. Another three is good. There for the three is Murray for Ryder. But it is too late and the Orange will win this one right in just a second. 50 seconds to go in this one. Braswell taking it in and no basket. A blocking foul there on Arugi Aramuno Johnson for Ryder. And that Braswell will be at the line for two with 46 seconds to go. I'm liking what I've seen from this Syracuse basketball team. It, they've really shown up to play these last few games. Their first one was against um, Bryant, the Bryant Bulldogs, and they barely pulled away 85 to 84 in that one. But it, they've only had they only had one practice going into that game. Braswell's second free throw is up and good. 87 to 52 orange, leading the rider. 40 seconds to go. Rider with it. Pursuing the ball is Murray. Murray looks to shoot, doesn't. Hands it off to his man. That is Benson. In the corner for three is McGlone. The orange will have it and close out the game with 20 seconds to go. 16 seconds, 14, 10 seconds to go, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Your Syracuse Orange are now 3-0 and and undefeated on the season as they defeat the Ryder Broncos, 87-52 to in the Orange defeat Ryder miserably. That was a great game from the shooting end from the Syracuse Orange. I'd say for my player of the game who won it there was Alan Griffin. He was tremendous from the three-point line. So many things to talk about here. Joseph Gerard III showed up to play today. Lots of points. Alan Griffin, the player of the game. And and that's great. Joseph Gerard too, played great. Frank Aslin came in at the end and showed up to play. The Orange are 3-0 on the season. Now, if you guys were here, I really appreciate every single one of you. 
The Ryder Broncos are now 0-1 on the season, and the Orange go 3-0, and their next game will be Rutgers. I will do a p- quick brief post game to this one. I will not be doing a post game to this basketball game. I will doing be doing a preview and post game to the Rutgers basketball game. And then same thing for Boston College. I will not do that because I'm going to be live streaming that one for you guys live. I really appreciate every single one of you who have tuned in tonight. I think the most we've had on at once was 19 people. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, it really means a lot to me. Uh, you guys tuning in day in, day out, whenever I do a stream, it really means a lot. Uh, and we're just doing what we love doing most, watching basketball and rooting for the Orange. Until the next time on the Bleed Orange Network, let's get to 200 subscribers by the end of this year, five subscribers a day before Christmas. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. It's not up to me. It's up to you guys. So make sure to subscribe. Until the next time on the Bleed Orange Network, I am your play-by-play commentator, Landon Cook. Until the next time, I will see you guys for the Syracuse versus Boston College game. And maybe, maybe potentially Monday night for an NFL football game. See you guys then. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. And always, always remember, let's go Sarah Cuse. Let's go Orange, baby. Woo!